Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to unbox my pair of Carmina Spectators that I had made for me in Mallorca when visiting the factory. Those that watch this channel, I'm sure have seen our Carmina factory tour where I traveled all the way to Mallorca, Spain uh, to visit with the Alba de Dejos, the family that owns Carmina Shoemaker, and actually visit their factory in Mallorca where they make all of their incredible Goodyear welted leather dress shoes. I have to say, what a trip. I mean, not only was Mallorca a beautiful island to go visit, but to go inside Carmina's factory and to see how they make their shoes really was incredible. If you haven't seen our factory tour with Carmina, I think it's one of the best videos of the entire year, and I would highly encourage you to check that out. Not only does the video really capture the story of the Abaladejos, which own Carmina, uh, but it is an incredible glimpse into their factory and how they make their shoes. In the video, we follow the entire process of them making these shoes right here that I have to unbox. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert, of course, uh, is uh, this is actually a remake of the shoes that they made for me in the factory. The reason they remade them is in order for us to film that factory tour in just two days, they had to rush the process a little bit. Uh, and so these shoes have been sent through the factory. They've been allowed to sit on the last for several days. Uh, and this is an example of really the best work, uh, the great work uh, that comes out of the Carmina factory. So let's open these up. I'm gonna talk a little bit about them and then we're gonna give them their first shine. Okay, so this, uh, was shipped to me from Carmina, from the New York uh, Madison Avenue Boutique. Again, one of the great things about Carmina uh, is despite being a, what is a relatively small family owned business, I think they've got like five or six different boutiques around the world. They've got two in New York City alone and they have an incredible web presence. Uh, and so as far as high quality Goodyear welted shoes are concerned, I mean, not only do they have an incredible portfolio of shoes, but it's extremely accessible uh, to not just those in Spain or those in Europe or those in the United States, but really to everyone around the world. Uh, and so if you haven't checked out their website, take a moment to do so. Uh, they ship everywhere. So here we go. Carmina uh, shoes, handmade in Mallorca. Uh, absolutely beautiful uh, box, of course. And we're gonna open these up and take a look at them. Um, all right. So here we go. Uh, again, if you've seen the factory tour, this could all be a little bit redundant, but this is just a great example of Carmina's attention to detail in every step of the process. Not only do you see that in the factory with how they make their shoes, you know, from, you know, cutting out their own leather outsoles to creating their own heel stacks, uh, to the way that they're able to adjust their lasts and finish their shoes, but you also see it in the packaging. And one of the things that I really like, especially for those of us that might store their shoes in the box, is every custom pair of shoes that comes to the factory, uh, again, made to order, comes with this special label that's got the name of for whom it was made, the style, so this is a wingtip Oxford, the size, some information about the order number, uh, but it also has a nice little sketch of the shoe itself. So uh, if you have these in your closet, what I like about this, it allows you to really easily and quickly identify which shoes are in this box. So, uh, and it's a sturdy box. It's a box that can absolutely, you know, kind of stand the test of time. So let's see, we've got a nice little note here. This is from Carmina. Thank you, Kirby. Um, for coming to 509 Madison Avenue. We appreciate your kindness and sharing our brand. So um, we had these shoes uh, at the Madison Avenue Boutique for a meet and greet that we did, and then they shipped them to us. Uh, every pair of shoes comes with shoe bags. Open these up. And let's see. One pair, two pair, uh, and Interestingly, uh, a second pair of laces, and this is a completely different pair of laces. I don't know if those are meant for those shoes, but there they are. Okay, so here we are, these beautiful light brown spectators uh, that I had made. Uh, now, one of the things that I love about Carmina, of course, is the fact that they have this exceptional made-to-order program. I'm just gonna tie these for you real quick with my 
Parisian knot, is they've got this exceptional made-to-order program. I mean, Carmina really does have one of the largest catalogs of models of any shoe company out there. Uh, it's one of the things that has allowed them to develop a little bit of a cult following is just how large their catalog is. Uh, but they've just launched a 3D customization tool. The best way to think about it, it's like going to Rolls Royce or BMW and actually building your own car. Carmina allows you to do that for a pair of shoes where you can select any of their models and completely customize every single element. You can change the leathers, the materials, the stitching color. I mean, really the level of detail with which they allow you to build your own pair of shoes uh, is pretty staggering. I mean, it really is, it's fun, it's exceptional, and it's a little bit dangerous. Uh, and at the end of that, after you've you know built your shoes, you can see them, right? It's all 3D rendered right there on their website. Then you can actually order them and have them made. And so that's how uh, we built these shoes. We did it in their Parma uh, boutique. Uh, we built them out, then we sent them to the factory and they made them up. And uh, as you can see, absolutely beautiful pair of spectators. That was a little bit of divine provenance here. Uh, you know, I had just been in London filming the vintage uh, shopping uh, video with Max Fawkes. And in that, you'll remember uh, that I found this incredible kind of cream suit. Uh, it was a vintage suit at Hornets I found made in 1981. I mean, it fit perfectly. And I said, you know what? This is the suit for Mallorca. Uh, to be completely honest, I didn't have uh, a suit with me that was a perfect suit for that island. Uh, but that suit really hit the nail on the head. And it was that suit that kind of gave rise to the idea of having these shoes made because this was the perfect pair of shoes to complement that suit. Now, what are they? Of course, it's a wingtip, uh, but it's made uh, as a spectator with the different materials. Now, you can have a spectator's made in a bunch of different materials. This could be, uh, you know, kind of a lighter leather, right? But I had this done out of a linen, which just further drives home kind of the summer kind of casual feel of these shoes. Uh, traditionally, a wingtip with the broguing uh, is a more casual model. You add this material right here and it gets even more casual. So here we go, absolutely beautiful pair of shoes. I have to say I've enjoyed these uh, more than I thought I would. Few details, of course, incredible construction. I mean, just look at how kind of small this leather strip is. I mean, the stitching, the stitch density, you know, the last definition. I mean, all the things that really uh, are the reasons I fell in love with beautifully made shoes, you find here, you know, just the dyeing uh, and inking of the heel, the way that this heel block sits, you know, so cleanly uh, underneath the heel of the shoe, the stitch density, as I explained, the shape of the last, and you've got the toe plate right here, which Carmina had designed. This is a new, it's got, uh, it's highly polished. It's got the Carmina name um, engraved in the toe plate itself. Uh, absolutely beautiful attention to detail. These are made with the Jeremindenbach oak bark tanned leather outsoles. Again, you see Carmina, the brand uh, embossed beautifully here on the soles. Uh, great work on the heels. Um, absolutely beautiful shoes. Love these, couldn't be more happy. Uh, and I'd fully expect uh, to wear these uh, quite frequently. So there they are. Uh, these are my uh, brand new Carmina Spectators with beautiful kind of linen uh, fabric here on the vamp. And now it's time to shine them. So first shine, I have to say these are spectators and a lot of questions or a lot of people ask us, how do you shine a pair of shoes like these? Uh, and really there's no trick. The answer is that you shine them carefully to try to really avoid getting any type of polish uh, on the uh, linen canvassing uh, itself. So uh, other than that, you shine them like a normal pair of shoes. And we're going to do that in this video. Of course, using Saphir shoe polish, I have the Saphir pomander cream polish. Uh, this is the light brown, which really perfectly matches this right here. I've got a light brown pair of wax polish that we're going to use to apply one coat to kind of bring it up. Uh, and then, of course, a little bit of mirror gloss uh, to bring up the toes themselves. So those are the products I'm going to be using in this video. Uh, of course, I don't want to forget uh, our Wellington High Shine chamois. I'm going to avoid using much of the brush because the brushing you know, you run the risk of uh, having the polish bleed onto the canvas itself. Now I'll talk about the brush though. This of course is our Kirby Allison Wellington a Deluxe a brush. Uh, this has a really, it's a shoemaker size. It's very large in dimension. Uh, what I love about it is we use 100% tail hair on all of our brushes pinned to a high density. 
Uh, and so this really doesn't shed, certainly sheds less than your average brush. Uh, this is a beautiful brush uh, that'll last you a long time. And one of the best ways to support all the content we film here on this YouTube channel is going online to kirbyallison.com and shopping. But back to polishing these shoes, uh, let's get started. So whenever it comes to polishing a pair of shoes like this, you really wanna be careful against having the polish to get onto the canvas. You know, once it's onto the canvas, there's just not much you can do to clean that off. Um, I mean, you could use a little bit of the Reno mat or a little bit of the leather um, or suede cleaning soap and the Omni Netanyahu, you could shampoo this if you needed to. Uh, but really the best thing to do is to just be careful and not get it there for the first place. So for that reason, uh, I'm really not going to use the brush, right? I mean, because the problem is, is whenever you brush, right? And you've got two-toned leather like this and not just leather, if it was leather, it would be safer, but this is canvas. Right? Anytime you do this, you run the risk of just having that residual polish that inevitably uh, accumulates on the brush getting on the rest of the shoe. So instead, what I'm going to do is really exclusively use a chamois for the purpose of these shoes. So with the chamois, of course, you can apply the polish with the chamois, uh, but you can also buff the polish with the chamois as well. You don't need to use a horsehair brush. Um, and so in this video, because we wanna be careful on that, we still wanna polish the shoes. Uh, we're going to just use a chamois for that. So uh, let's get started with shining these new Carmina Spectators. Now people ask, you know, what products do I need to shine my shoes? Uh, if you were to only use one product, right? Uh, I would recommend a cream polish because not only do you get the pigments, uh, the color that's gonna even the finish, uh, but this also does an incredible job nourishing the leather itself, making it look healthy, you know, fixing uh, any type of um, scuffing or discoloration you have. These are new shoes. Uh, and so even though they're new, I still find that the leather really benefits from cream polish uh, and also the waxes. In a cream polish, you have uh, a slower concentration of waxes than a wax polish than a hard wax. But again, those waxes help elevate the shine, which makes the leather look better. Uh, and it also helps protect the leather. So we're gonna apply this again, very carefully. I don't wanna get this on that canvas. And so I'm just going to apply it with this chamois. You know, another option, of course, is to just use a neutral, which, you know, may have been the better idea here. <laughs> Okay, nice application. We're gonna give this a few minutes to dry. Uh, so while that's drying, I'm gonna apply cream polish on the left shoe. Okay, so that's the left shoe. We'll come back to the right one. So a little bit of a dark spot, just uh, the nutrients in the polish saturating the leather. Uh, that uh, dark spot will rebound back to its natural color, you know, maybe in 30 minutes or an hour. I mean, all you need is just for that polish and that, um, you know, the oils that you have in the polish to just evaporate out. It's not anything to really worry about. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of water. This is my high shine water dispenser. Okay, a little bit of water. As I said, I'm not going to buff this off with the brush because there's no doubt that it would get polish all over the place. Instead, I'm just going to buff it off with a little bit of water and a chamois. Again, all you're doing here is just buffing that residual polish off and then trying to get it to a nice shine. I mean, this is the same process that you would do if you were actually shining the shoes uh, to a high shine. And it allows you a little bit more control over how you do that. Again, this is a 
Definitely tricky. You know, if someone bought a pair of spectators like this and just said they weren't going to polish the shoes, <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. Okay, so there we go. I mean, nothing dramatic. I'm going to actually jump straight in with a little bit of the mirror gloss because that's what I want is to really kind of build that wax finish here on the toes of the shoes to just give it a little bit of a shine so that it just stands out, right? And that you have to build. What I love about the mirror gloss is again, it's got that concentration of hard waxes that allows you to build that wax finish faster than if you were just using the Pat Deluxe. Okay. We're gonna apply this on the heels as well. Now I have the Pat Deluxe that I'm gonna use to kind of help buff this but Love this stuff. Okay, we're gonna let that hard wax polish dry. We've got the other shoe. Just take a little bit of water and we're gonna buff that cream polish off. Okay, same routine here. All right, back to this one. So Feeling the polish, it's nice and dry. I'm gonna switch to a clean part of the chamois. And then at this point, we're gonna take a little bit of this light brown polish. And we're gonna use the two of these together. So, that, a little bit of water. Okay, so there we go. You know, a little bit of elbow grease off camera, a little bit of time. I mean, again, you really can't rush the shine. You need to give the waxes time to dry. And so it's nice to kind of apply some of the wax, buff it, and then just let it sit. Uh, but as you can see right here, a little bit of polish goes a long way. I probably spent, you know, a good 20 to 30 minutes off camera on this. Uh, bring these up to high shine. We of course have plenty of videos on the channel that go through the entire high shine process. So you can find those of course if you're looking for an in-depth tutorial. Uh, but otherwise this is a great illustration of what a little bit of time and polish can do to a pair of shoes. I mean of course 
Uh, the sky's the limit, as I like to call it, is the mirage of the high shine. You could really fall into it and you could spend all afternoon, you know, chasing that perfect shine. At some point, you just have to say you're done. Uh, you'll see there's two dark spots right here. You know, I probably went a little bit heavy on the water or some of the solvents, you know, kind of got trapped underneath that wax polish. Uh, that will evaporate off uh, really by the end of the day. Uh, that should rebound back to its normal color. You always see it more on a lighter uh, color pair of shoes than you do like say a black or a dark brown. Uh, this is a particularly light brown uh, calfskin and so you're just gonna see that darkening effect a little bit more than you would otherwise uh, on something darker. But otherwise I have to say absolutely beautiful shoes. Uh, look forward to wearing these again. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Of course, uh, I used exclusively the Saphir Medal d'Or products to shine these shoes. Uh, the Saphir Mirror Gloss, the Saphir Pat Deluxe Wax Polish, uh, and of course the Saphir Pomadeer Cream Polish. Uh, great product, some of the best polish uh, out there. And as you can see, proof is in the pudding. Beautiful shine on these shoes. Of course, all these products you can find exclusively online at kirbyallison.com, where we have the largest collection of luxury shoe shine accessories, Wellington uh, shoe shine brushes, high shine chamois, Saphir shoe polish, and so much more, and luxury clothing accessories like, again, the sovereign grade necktie, pocket squares, braces, socks, shave cream, shave brushes, uh, and really so much, much more. Another way to support this channel is uh, by actually joining our Patreon, where you can get discounts on our website and other exclusive access to uh, live streams and other things that we do just for the Patreon members. 100% of the proceeds from our Patreon go to exclusively support our ability to travel in pursuit of quality craftsmanship and tradition. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as you know, I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.